Well, you heard it here first. Today is the day. Source, Will. He tells me all the things that are happening in the NFL right before they happen. So, it has to be today. Grind a red deer as well. Matt, you know, <laughs> I'll say this. I was making my thumbnail, I don't know, 40 minutes ago, something like that. And Kyla came over and, and saw it and she was like, Oh man, red deer again. I understand not wanting to see as many red deer, but the simple fact of the matter is we're never going to get this thing done. And thus we just bite the bullet and keep on doing it. Speaking of NFL moves, thoughts on Matt Ryan to the Colts? Uh, he's essentially Peyton Manning with maybe a little less... I don't know, say he's 90% of Peyton Manning, maybe 85% get him, given that he's a little bit older. I think it's a good move for them. Been a slow Monday I live on NFL Twitter these days. I need to make like a personal Twitter account so that I can follow all those things. I really don't want all that on like my Flinter timeline because I try to keep up with the people that I follow and all that kind of stuff. So perhaps I can make such things. Lost a bull, piebald elk, and multiplayer today. That is a bummer, dude. Peyton Manning got off the forehead, dude. <laughs> in our in our fantasy football chat, I literally said he's Peyton Manning with a smaller forehead. <laughs> Same energy. Got my great one red deer on 71 kills. That is incredible luck. Apparently more than just one of us thinks he's Peyton Manning without the huge forehead. He had he had a thick brain in there that made him really good at the Line of scrimmage, so it's alright. Today you're going to get a great one? I certainly hope so. I still don't know what the heck I'm going to do if we find one. I don't even have a plan at the moment. Matt Ryan's so old, he's just old. So what, he was a 2008 rookie, so he'd be 36, 37? Something like that. I think that might be correct. Got my first time in Red Deer yesterday, very nice. Kind of sad about Matt Ryan going to the Colts since I'm a Falcons fan. I think, um, I wouldn't say I'm a Falcons fan necessarily, but I'd say they're probably my second team, given that, you know, Kyle is kind of a Falcons fan. Um, they're probably at a point that they just have to ditch all of the massive financial burdens and, and start again as much as, you know, they were right there in, in 2015, was it? Or 2016, maybe? It's just time to to start over, I think. I mean, who... I don't even know who can catch passes outside of Kyle Pitts. I've been saying for a while that he's going to have like 140 receptions because there's nobody else on that team. Julio's obviously gone. Ridley's suspended. Uh, Gage? Is that his name? Didn't he get traded? Like, I don't even know what the heck they're going to do. I think they're just simply going to have to, you know, start trying to build a young team and go from there. Jameis signed back with the Saints. Imagine, are you saying, oh, Baker? God, that just doesn't feel like a Falcons thing. Maybe. Maybe they'd do it. That just doesn't seem like a, a move they'd make. I didn't even see these guys. Were they here? They are now. Uh, Where are you at? Currently, we're at the Kalina Rota Lake. I tend to start my runs here because... You can see it's a eh, 600 meter run from the outpost, something like that. That is annoying. Fell in the water. Anyway, um, it gives any red deer that are maybe going to be a touch late to their zones time to get into their zones because I'm making that run and such. Should I buy this game and why? If you're interested in hunting games, hunting simulators of any kind, then I would definitely recommend it. It's probably the best out there. In terms of actual, like, hunting simulation, the Hunter Classic would be better. But Call of the Wild is newer. It's getting more consistent updates. And, well, the newer part of it means the graphics are better. Who's your favorite football team? I'm a Steeler fan, and I, I don't know what the heck to make of everything that's gone on. I like all the moves they've made. They undoubtedly still have the fourth best quarterback in the division. But you could argue they had that last year and they were second in the division uh, because they are well run and well coached. So it's going to be an intriguing year. The entire AFC is stacked. So it's not like I expect them to go very far, but they weren't really expected to go all that far in 05 and they won it. So we'll see. That's what I started doing with the Whitetail 
bottom boy just like I would notice some deer were getting there late or I'd go to a zone that I had started at and there'd be deer there that weren't there when I went so I started running about a kilometer at this one spot where I would start and it, it seemed to kind of fix the problem I was having you think squirrels will fit on Mississippi uh, they would somebody who is it I've been seeing somebody that's like a veteran of, of classic and stuff I can't remember who said it um, but they mentioned that apparently classic wanted to do squirrels and then like that ended up not working out or whatever so I don't know how likely it is that they would do it but you never know what might happen did you find anything we're just getting started here finally got alive glad you make it in Sierra hopefully today will be the day of the great one we shall see fingers crossed what gun is that? Uh, the 308 AR-10. Fantastic gun. The best grinding weapon in the game, bar none. The low amount of recoil you get after a shot allows you to get on target so much quicker, and it's already semi-automatic. I mean, it it's almost unfair how many red deer you can kill in one spot. I mean, four, sometimes five, if they're really slow to move. Favorite team is the Packers. I also don't know what to make about them. They got Rodgers resigned, and then Devontae's gone, and I don't... Who's there? Like, Lazard, St. Brown, maybe? I don't know who he's going to throw to either. God. That's a good zone. <laughs> Two mythicals. We'll take that. I'm glad I got to make it to a stream for once. Hopefully it'll be a good one. Welcome on in, man. Hi from Spain. What's going on? How's your, what, I guess it would be evening over there? How's your evening going? Okay. Need to be good at shooting. I think we were good. He's dying. Well, hopefully. Couple big males? Yeah, that wasn't too bad. For a while, I've only had one stag in this zone consistently, so we'll take that. Uh, what did that say? Sad about, about Adams leaving? I would be, too. He's... Obviously, a, a top tier receiver, maybe the best. Flinter National Gang? Clever. I like it. Uh, why does it seem level 7 red deer are bigger than 8s and 9s? I guess when. So there's a thing that's done, if I'm not mistaken, generally in Europe when it comes to scoring antlered animals, where it's water displacement. So you get a, a large enough bucket of water for the antlers to fit in. You measure the volume of the water without the antlers and then you measure the volume with the antlers and it's like in cubic centimeters or whatever probably if you were to do that with these fictional racks with like the sevens versus the eight and nines the sevens probably would have a higher water displacement because they've got all that mass the way that red deer is scored really doesn't take mass into account in call of the wild and that's just kind of what it comes down to i don't i don't like the scoring at all i don't think it makes a whole lot of sense I generally agree. I think a lot of the seven racks should probably be the diamond racks, but it is what it is. We need the shadow emotes. I need to look and see if I have room. Or, like Kyla said, delete the uh, the duck emote. It's run its course. I don't think anybody... That used to be a thing. I think the reason that we have it is because it was often, like, asked or whatever if a diamond duck was rare or whatever. Nobody really asked that anymore. I intend to continue the beginner series, Helios. Uh, in fact, this week the plan is to do a goose hunting for beginners video. I need to do a little kind of, call it research, to learn some things on that, but I think it'll be good. Bottom boy, thank you for the 19 months, by the way. It seems shorter yet longer. I kind of feel that. 19 months would be... Like what, summer 2020? think that's about right I don't know time flies it never makes any sense you look back and wonder where the heck the time went uh, I guess we gotta go down to this side to get these guys to spawn in it said 13 months well ain't that just weird I guess it was longer uh, Tristan thanks for the super chat after over 1500 red deer on Te Aoroa I'm not sure what I'm looking for more a rare or a great one convinced I have the worst rare luck of all time So just because this is a um, a common question, I guess, 
um, in like the official Discord and stuff surrounding the grinds, are you claiming your kills? Because Tay in particular, due to the fact that you're hunting them mostly at night, would make it possible if you're not claiming them to miss rares because, you know, it's dark. Kyla is just basically Google. Kyla knows it all. As you may know if you've been around for a while, she really runs the show here. I'm just, I'm just here doing the talking, more or less. Watching you in school? Don't, uh, don't get in trouble for doing such things. I'm not worth it, I promise. Uh, got the game Christmas 2019. Started watching around the time the pandemic hit. Got serious about it around SRP. It's crazy, Al. Because when did I say that? I recently thought that SRP was the 2021 map or something. I forget exactly what, how it went, but the amount of, I don't know, you can look at it in the maps that have been released because it's every six months. The amount of new content that's been here since then, it just doesn't even add up. Time flies. Are you asking my favorite between Adams and AJ Brown? I like the uh, the type of receiver, I guess, that A.J. Brown is. That kind of Julio Jones, tall, fast, Randy Moss type, I guess, in a way. But I don't know anything about him. I feel like I know Devontae better. He's supposed to be a good dude, so probably Devontae. When did I start? Uh, when did I start in Call of Duty? When did I start streaming? What's your... What, when did I start what? I guess is the question. What do you think about Ultima Hunting? I honestly don't know a whole lot about it. I've intentionally sort of set my expectations at zero and whenever it comes out, it will have no choice but to exceed my expectations and hopefully I'll enjoy it. Do you need to find all zones for a great one to spawn? I've been grinding for a while, but nothing too good yet. Now, um, it will help only in the sense that it could potentially spawn at a zone that, if you don't have all your zones discovered, that you're not checking. So one thing that, the way that I kind of recommend doing the, the grind for any species, not just a great one, a diamond of anything, a rare of anything, is to firstly go and find all your zones. So I've, I've generally done that on my Quattro. There's a number of zones, there's one, one or two down in here that are red deer, a couple down here that I don't normally hunt, and what could happen is, as I'm going around and shooting red deer and red deer respawning, we could get a great one that spawns there, and I'm over here grinding other spots and not knowing it. It's pretty unlikely that you get two great ones to spawn, probably nearly impossible. So if that happens, now you're just kind of wasting time. So what I try to do every, I don't know, thousand kills or something like that, is to just run the entire map check absolutely every spot, just make sure that you don't have something hidden in one of those zones that you're not checking. But yeah, I would actually say it's best to not grind every single zone because some zones just aren't really feasible to hunt. Where are these guys at? Huh. Well, not really worth spending too much time on, but there was a bunch of them in there. Wait, what? Kyla should stream, call it, oh. Not mom sidekick stream? I thought you said mom sidekick stream. It would be legit, bottom boy. It's so... I've already seen it happen once. Where it was a cloned great one, and we won't get into how to clone animals. Um, it's a fairly well-known exploit, and it is an exploit, and it's not something I support. So I'm not going to explain how to do it for anybody that doesn't know. Um... I've already seen it happen once. It, the exact same great one posted, same weight, same score, uh, obviously same map, by two different people, and at that point, I guess it was a legit spawn for the host, probably, but you know it wasn't legit for the, the non-host, if that makes sense. That's not to say shooting a multiplayer, shooting a multiplayer, shooting a great one in multiplayer isn't legitimate, but it's... It's going to be tough to ever, you know, how do you prove that it's not something that's been cloned or whatever? There's really not a, a proof that could happen there. 
Uh, White Raven, thank you for the super chat. Got my great one red deer at approximately 400 kills on Quadra. That is pretty solid luck as well. I am a D12 muskrat. It is true. Or muskra, the bloodhound? Maybe it's not muskrat. When did you start Call of the Wild? Um, so I, I bought... Excuse you. What are you doing? Walking back to the bedroom, I don't know. Um, I bought the game the day it came out, but I actually was fortunate enough to get to play the game in the... It was like a lottery draw beta test that they did in late 2016, so technically since all the way uh, back in December 2016. Tristan, thanks again, by the way. I would absolutely love to start hunting in Quattro in the day, but I feel like I'm so committed to tell you that I can't stop now. I'm exactly the same way with Quattro. Like, once a week, once every two weeks, Scarecrow will, will stop by one of my Red, red Dead, Red Deer streams and say something like, just go to Tay. I've shot like 5,200 stags on Quattro. I'm not going to abandon that now. It's too late. What's up, Joe? Whining and walking around. I know. You'd think. Give her a little venison chewy bone thing and she could be distracted for a while. But no. She wants attention while she's chewing her bone. Uh, this right with so many hackers and multiplayer, there aren't going to be any legit trophies at all before too long. I kind of see what you're saying. It's, I think if you know what to look for, you can pretty easily rule out um, hacking in a multiplayer server. Like if, if I join multiplayer and spend a little time there, generally I, I figure out if it's hacked pretty quickly, if it is. Well, that was unfortunate. I think that was headed right for his neck and we had no rounds loaded. That was rude. Okay. Got them all hit anyway. So yeah, like when... If I join a multiplayer server and I get some kind of special kill fairly early on, I spend the next like hour, maybe hour and a half just running around the map making sure I'm not seeing anything out of the ordinary. That said, you can choose whether or not to believe me that I did that in the same way that I guess you'd have to choose whether or not to believe anybody that claims any multiplayer trophy is legit, so... I kind of see what you're saying. Is she in here? No, she's just very loud. Uh, Jay, thanks for the 36 months, by the way. Three full years. I certainly appreciate that. I miss... Did I miss anything yet? Uh, been a while since I caught a stream. Did that say been working? I think it did. Come back. Been working like crazy? Yeah, nothing crazy yet. Uh, just kind of starting to get going here. How is that? Not a kill shot. Hopefully that'll be. Uh, tips on a whitetail great one. I'd probably say Hunt Rancho. And ultimately the grind for a whitetail great one is the same as the grind for any other species you're going to grind for. Basically, find your zone, shoot all your bucks. Do that on repeat potentially thousands of times until the great one spawns, or if you get lucky, you might find one while you're setting up. It is all down to luck. Speaking of luck, that level 5 got lucky with his friend bodyguarding him. Not so lucky with that. Those shots, though. So, some mess here. I think we shot 7? 8? Am I going to remember to claim them all? Probably not. I hate to stumble into a trophy I love in multiplayer and find out later it's hacked. I did that, uh, it's probably coming up on a year or more ago. There was a change to the Gemsbuck on Vrahunga where all of them were drinking in one spot. And some of you guys may recall that. They've since changed it. But right when that happened, I joined a multiplayer server and there's a level 5 male Gemsbuck. And I was like, cool, most of them troll, but, you know, I'll, I'll record it, and if it ends up being a diamond, that's something I've been wanting. So I claimed it. It's a max score diamond. I can't believe that I've gotten this lucky. And then I realized the weight is, like, 20 kg lower than it should be, or could feasibly be. And, yeah, it was absolutely hacked. A thing that happens. Normally when that does happen, by the way, because you may hear something like that, and 
correctly think that that would influence my diamond gal and throw it off. So normally, if I run into such a thing, the next time I'm in multiplayer and see some diamond that maybe would be a lower end diamond, like a, a small horns level 5 wildebeest or, I don't know, a level 3 rabbit, level 3 duck, I'll just leave it to try to even stuff out. I'm sure that it's probably close to balanced out, but there's a chance that I've missed one or done one too many, who knows. What's up, Trevor? Is Marissa in here? I see Kyla saying the name anyway. Uh, did I miss anything? Just wild red deer everywhere trying to keep up with them at this point. Leave you, devil. Thank you for the super chat, by the way. I've been wanting to get a diamond crowned wildebeest. Unfortunately, that is not possible. Um, oh, okay, I got you, Kyla. I was hopeful anyway. I know I missed her last time. Um, so yeah, the, the crowd wildebeest can only be female, which is an absolute tragedy, frankly. They're one of the coolest looking things in the game, and I don't know why they can only be female, but it is the case. What is your biggest diamond? That's really tough to answer, because since they've gone to the new scoring system, it's not like a standardized system anymore. Uh, back in the day, your highest number, so... You know, I've had some 1,000 diamonds back on the old system, but prior to that, perhaps a nine. Well, I guess I had a thousand pretty early. Yeah, it would have been a 1,000 coyote for a long time. As far as comparing any of that to the new system, I don't know that I can. But uh, if I can come up with a new system, see, I've had max score diamonds on the new system too. Just let's just go with the 1,000 coyote because I shot that way back in the day when diamonds were less common than they are now. That's kind of what it's going to have to come down to, bottom boy, and to some degree that's, uh, I guess, always been the case. I don't know. Not so much. It's really been more of a recent thing. We can hope that EW manages to implement some sort of anti-cheat or, or something to at least curb the amount of that stuff that's going on because you see it unfortunately everywhere most times i record in multiplayer these days i'll run into one throughout the two hours that i play um i don't know what you're referring to tristan what's the biggest albino you've ever killed uh boy i had a albino diamond water buffalo at 951 an albino diamond moose at 970. My albino diamond whitetail was a level 2. Probably the 970 moose then. Uh, if you were to give it a trophy rating in today's game, you could imagine it being like a 280. Maybe. Spilt water on my keyboard? That's no good. How do you know if you're in a hack server because I'm on Xbox? Generally speaking, you won't see many on Xbox, but it can happen on Xbox as well. Um... PC is where the, the majority of that stuff is, which is, uh, great. But, there's a couple of things to look out for. Firstly is something like a, well, a good example, I, I once saw a level 3 moose with diamond antlers, and that's not something you should ever see. Now, what can be confusing about that is level 4 moose can make diamond legitimately. The level 3 moose will never, never be even close. It's kind of just being familiar with the game and understanding that kind of stuff is something to look for. Another big one is if you're just seeing all kinds of max level animals. Um, you can pay attention in the chat as well if you're familiar with the session score. A diamond animal that's level 9 will have a 1000 session score. A diamond animal that's level 5 will have 500. Diamond animal that's level 3 will have 250. Now. If you lose some quick kill, those session scores go down. They're not a good thing to really judge stuff off of, but if you're seeing a bunch of scores like that in the multiplayer chat, that could also be an indicator. Unfortunately, there are different hacks that happen. Um, I've seen where they're all max level, everything matches up. I've seen where the levels make no sense, but the score of submits and weights are as if they should be max level. It's very frustrating. 
Got an albino male gray fox? I don't even know if I knew they had albino. That's pretty cool. I was aware of leucistic. I was aware of Mela. Obviously piebald. Maybe I've seen some albino gray fox. I don't recall seeing them though. I feel like right when Mississippi came out, there were so many people hunting it. Like all the cool stuff was being found and then people kind of went on their way. You don't see that as much anymore. Oh, nice bottom boy. I gotta get a, a riding mower real soon. There's, there was one, it's like on the Facebook marketplace. It was in very good shape and very not expensive, but the problem is it becomes twice as expensive to drive and go get it now. What is your biggest troll? The Red Fox, probably? For those of you that were familiar with it, uh, about a year ago now, maybe not quite a year ago, but pretty close, we were grinding for a Diamond Red Fox. It was the only diamond in the game that I didn't have. And at the end of this one stream on Yukon Valley, we come across a max, max weight track and we spot it, it's a level nine, Finally, this is going to be it. This is going to be the end of the grind. <laughs> Made the shot 75 meters or something. It was not a difficult shot. It, it really worked out. And it trolled. It was, what, by .05 or something? It was a pretty close to diamond troll. But luckily, the very next day, frankly, out of frustration, I just hit multiplayer really hard. Any server I could find that was Red Fox drink time and, and spent time there and I did get a diamond. Um, nearly in the same spot actually. Yet, yeah, I don't get that Danny, I'm not sure like what the purpose for that is. That's a thicken. One day I'll see that and I'll think it's a seven and it'll be a great one. That's how Kylos was. Uh, what's the gun you like the most? At the moment, it probably is this AR-10-308. It's just... For one, it's in basically every loadout I have. I've been doing all this red deer grinding, so I'm consistently carrying it. And I do like that it's not that loud. Um, from a content-making perspective, it's nice when the weapon's not just super overpowering. Because sometimes... Um, I think it was a classic video recently... There was some gun I was using that was especially loud, and I'll have to spend the time to turn the volume down just to, you know, not have headphone users lose their hearing due to that. If you love the 308 so much, why don't you marry it? Because it rejected me. Didn't you know? Uh, my friend killed a level 1 Trivial Melanistic Axe Smell. He's wondering if it's a super rare. Potentially in the sense that it's a minimum level and also a rare. It, it wouldn't be considered a super rare in the same sense that, like, you know, a diamond mellow would be. How's the life with the dog? I've really, really been enjoying it. I... I guess to some degree I knew what I was getting into, because I grew up with a family dog, but I guess having the sole responsibility of taking care of it versus when you're a kid, you kind of just like, hey, go feed the dog, okay, dad, whatever. Um, it's very quickly made me more responsible and more time efficient, because I, you know, I've got to worry about when Shadow needs to go outside. I got to make sure that she's fed. I got to make sure all these things and... Before I could kind of, you know, work on my own schedule, I guess. But now, like, I get up, I edit whatever I have to do. Usually I take her for, like, a good hour walk, record while she's napping. It's a, a very almost strict schedule, but I like it. I think she did change her profile pic. She's bored of my stream. Doesn't want to see it. Out here changing the options. It's a rough life. Is that one of your hunting pictures? I can't tell what it is. I know, Shadow. What is the time in the game? Currently 8.35. Litter, Danza. 
How many diamonds tonight? Uh, precisely zero thus far. Hopefully we can turn that around. I feel like we're on a good streak here. Um, two videos in a row with at least something. Uh, one was actually... The one video was including the stream kills, but... Gosh, like five level nines in the last couple of weeks? That's a lot better than we've done any time lately. A selfie before we went hunting? Yeah, I thought so. Whiny pup. I know. Probably shouldn't have given her anything, but I was afraid that once you were not in the room that she would just be whining and I wouldn't want to have to go across the room and go get the little venison things to get her to calm down. A squeak -a deer? Holy... I hope there's no red deer here. I hate having to go claim them. Best mid to big game gun? The 7 mil probably, as long as you're not trying to grind for anything. If you're looking for... You know, you see an animal, you shoot it, uh, and then kind of move on to the next, the 7 mil is. If you're looking to maybe grind red deer or whitetail, you want something that's not a single shot, and therefore... Again, 308, M1, 303, anything in that general uh, class would work. No red deer here. Alright, well that was uh, getting our wish, I guess. I uh, just got a level 4 and level 5 pronghorn. The 4 made it, but the 5 didn't. I just did that with Shammy like a week ago. <laughs> nice. It's, um, it's weird. Did you claim the 4 first by chance? Because that, I did that with the chamois and I was like, okay, cool, we just got two diamonds. Yeah, no. Level five, chamois said. Welcome to the small life. Did he go alert because of the shot or is there wolves over there? This is the one lake that I have issues with wolves. Yeah, there are. Woo! Those neck shots, though. All right. Uh, got another guy in there. Ah, no, Shadow. It's a rough life. What's wrong with that shot? Okay, mm we're not done. They're everywhere. Gun with 308 AR-10 from the modern weapons pack that was released. Oh, goodness. About a month ago now. Well, this will be fun. Try to go and find everything. Uh, favorite big game hunting gun in Call of the Wild is the 300. In my opinion, nothing comes close to it. The 308, uh, not 308, 338 is good, but it's a single shot, much like I was talking about with the 7 mil before, and especially for very large game. Having a quick follow up like the 300 allows you to can be really important, whether it's a charging Cape Buffalo or Water Buffalo when. As you can probably guess, those angles are not always ideal. Or if it's a, a moose that you have a bad angle on, getting that quick follow-up can really help. Are you saying your PFP is different, Danny? I know it's the same as Discord. Did you change it since... I don't know. I did claim the 4 first. It's a weird thing where you're just expecting it to make it. Um... We shot one. Oh. I guess that shot wasn't good. I didn't know that. Do you think they'll ever add trophy shots? I hope. Given the fact that we're a little over five years in now, I don't know that I'm extremely optimistic for it because it's been one of the most requested things the entire time that the game's been out. It's, I make the argument all the time, I guess I'll make it again. You get to a certain point where the same size for a trophy when you were a beginner is maybe no longer something you're like as psyched about, I guess. Like, I don't know. If I shoot a rare hind on this grind, because I accidentally shoot a hind and it respawns as a rare, I'm like, oh. I mean, that's cool, but it, what am I going to do with it? Like, I don't have room for that in my lodge. So what I'd like to do is take a trophy shot and then I don't have to pay the tax or anything. But as is, it's not an option. 
when will you do another werewolf video? That one is gonna have to wait until October. They're, or maybe November. No, it should be October. They're only available for a very short duration of time around Halloween. They're really fun to hunt. I really enjoy it. If you're not a The Hunter Classic player and you've seen those werewolf videos and want to get into it, I'd recommend getting started in Classic sooner rather than later. Kind of understanding the way the game works, you'll be a lot better off. But yeah, that'll be a while. Do you think Ultimate Hunting will be better than Call of the Wild? I don't know that I necessarily think it'll be... I don't know that I have a judgment as to what quality I think it will be, I guess is maybe a better way to answer that. It's uh, It's got potential with what we've seen, but there, there's not been a whole lot of definitive stuff. And by that I mean, you know, any significant gameplay or anything like that. It's kind of just been info and screenshots and such. Now, it, it, it's got good potential, but until we see more, I just don't know. Kyle and I are on a streak here of answering the exact same question the exact same way. <laughs> Not even in the room. Uh, I really want Classic to be on console. I wish it was. Not only, and I, I've said this before too, but not only because it would be better for, you know, business in terms of like what I do with content and stuff because naturally less people are interested in watching a Classic video when less people can actually play it. But also I just think... You know, Classic is the, a game that's been out for 13 years. It's been, I would argue, revolutionary in the hunting simulation game world. And it'd be cool if it could get more recognition and more players. But as is, again, it's 13 years old. Getting it on console just seems like a pretty impossible task. You still got a bunch of your thing left. Why are you whining? Long time no stream. What's going on, man? Glad you make it in. Yes. <laughs> Was not pleased with whatever I just said. At what level should I start hunting just males? You could go all the way to level 60, honestly. Um, there are things to be gained in terms of, you know little advantages through the skills and perks that you get all the way till you are at 60 which is the max level uh, max player level so I don't you keep shooting does and stuff till you're at at 60 she's a mess I've never seen her go because she's had this for 40 minutes I've never seen her take it that long to to completely chew it but yet she's whining hello Ooh, I don't know how to get over there I guess all the way around. What is that? <laughs> we lagged a little bit right as I tried to shoot. I think we still got it. My birthday's in two days, the 23rd of March. Well, happy early birthday, man. Savoring the bone. That's a good practice to get into. Has Shadow been whining all stream? Just kind of here and there. She's just a goober. She likes her attention whether or not she has other things to distract her. I want to get a picture of her one of these mornings. Like, usually I go downstairs. First thing I do is take her outside because... And I literally, like, sprint her outside. So she doesn't... Because one time, it was like 4 a.m., she woke me up, had to go out, and I, you know, groggily walked down the stairs... And I get to the door, and I think I stopped to put my jacket on, and then she just peed on the doormat. So, now, I'm like, full steam ahead, get the door unlocked. Anyway, irrelevant to my point. Uh, <laughs> take her outside, then I come in, make coffee, get something for breakfast, then I come up and edit stuff. And usually she just lays on my lap for like two hours or so while I do that. And I swear, like, while I'm making coffee, she just sits on the kitchen floor, like, come on. I'm ready for my morning cuddles now. I, I want to get a picture of her doing that, but she's usually ready to move the second I get my phone out of my pocket, moving her away. The shadows in this game kills me? Why is that? Just hopped on. Nothing nothing crazy yet, Braden. 
the second lake we visited had two mythicals, uh, and here we are 30 plus minutes removed from that, and that remains the best thing we've seen. How many great ones have you killed? I only have the one. Now, I'm going to end up exp explaining this every stream in, for the rest of my life, I think, <laughs> because it, it gets asked so often. If I happen to go into my codex here and open my hunting profile, it will say that I've shot 19 great ones, which um, many people tend to question, which is fair enough. About a year ago, when Bloodhounds came out, they tried to introduce a great one counter, and they didn't do it right. Diamonds were being counted as great ones, golds were being counted as diamonds. If I'm not mistaken, silver's counted as golds, bronze counted as silvers, you get the point. Um, so yeah, I guess I shot 18 diamonds in that time period when they were counting incorrectly. So my counter would be the one great one plus the 18 diamonds. And that's why my diamond counter's off by hundreds as well. 42,000 harvests. I, I think I play this game too much. <laughs> is the new gun good? It is fantastic. By the way, um... I forget if I brought this up in the last stream that we chased Red Deer on or not. There was a comment in one of my more recent Red Deer hunts when we were at this zone that said an albino ran off. And I clicked on the timestamp that he put there and it certainly looked like that is exactly what happened. I wonder where that guy's at. Max, wait one. Um, and I've been up here several times since and I've seen no such albinos. I don't know if it was the sun hitting a light-colored hind. Okay. <laughs> don't know what that was. Or what made this deer appear to be all white, but we can at least hope that maybe there's one up here waiting on us. What's up, Aaron? You're not too late. Uh, still got an hour and 20 minutes to go. Have you been hiding all the videos of killing those great ones? I, I didn't kill those great ones. What do you mean? They were just diamonds. What level do you think you'd be if it didn't stop at 60? Well, the tough part about that is the XP that was required to be gained to level up kind of went up on a like exponential scale, I think. I've been of the opinion for a long time. I used to play Rocket, Rocket League and they had a, a level cap of 75. Eventually, they changed it to where I think it was every 20,000 XP or something you gain another level and that you could go on forever gaining levels. When they did that, I thought EW should do the exact same thing. You know, make it their own whatever every 50,000 XP or whatever the heck number they want to make it, you gain another level. I'd love to know what level I'd be, but I have no idea. Not a clue. Have you ever killed a melanistic pheasant? Uh, I've shot two melanistic hens in Call of the Wild. Hunting on Facebook and Marketplace? God, I do enough of that. Never buy anything, but I... I browse. Why... Why is... What easier? I got put in... A casual match with a Grand Champ on Rocket League and I'm only a gold? Yeah, casual's not good for... Uh, for being lower ranks, unfortunately, sometimes. If... If you're in a, um, if you're trying to play at a time where there's maybe more people trying to also play, you're more likely to get people that are your skill level. Holy Ben. Windows shop. Yes. Windows shopping. I have a quest in Leighton Lowe's, but I can't find it on the map. It is like the bottom center. Hey, a branchy boy. That might be the one that we had the track of, actually. One of my favorite racks. Unfortunately, yet again, one that cannot make diamond. But cool looking nonetheless. And yeah, this, this is the zone where it appeared on the video as if an albino had run off. And I don't see it. I don't know. Windows Vista shopping. Good old throwback to 19... What, 95? Why weren't you in the Call of the Wild 5th Anniversary Special? 
Um, mostly due to my own, <laughs> uh, my own doing, I guess. Essentially, they sent out a, um, a thing inviting you to do it, and I wasn't aware that it was like a 48-hour deadline or something fairly short, so I ended up taking too long to submit what was required. Tell the people what gun you're using, please. It's a, um, a 12 gun. The 308 AR-10 from the modern weapons pack. Think I'll get my great one red deer soon? I'm 700 stags in. I hope so. You never know. That's the crazy thing about it and what makes it so intriguing to continue grinding for them. It might be the next stag you shoot. It might be, you know, potentially literally thousands away. All down to luck. Have you shot any diamonds? None today. Yeah, I answered two questions at once. Uh, been talking a little bit of smack about you not getting a great one red deer when I don't even have one. Hey, you're not the only one. If you're not, um, if you're not grinding for one or whatever, though, that's fair enough. God, you can talk smack about that. That was rough. Pretty ter <laughs> terrible shooting. I've heard nothing about him, boy. I... I don't even know when he's supposed to get back. I was going to ask him that because that may change what I have to edit. And yeah, I guess he's either fully invested or maybe he's not even actually hunting yet. He might just be like visiting with family. I, I don't know. Your voice is so calming. Why, thank you. What level were you when you shot your first diamond? I believe... Yes. Yes. I think I was level 50 something. Somewhere in there. Hope you get some super rares on this grind that can make for some pretty cool multi-mounts. That said, I don't have a ton of room for multi-mounts. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. The ultimate plan, assuming that a great one ever shows up, is to... Do the great one in a multi mount with a hide that flea state red deer mount, and then probably the old gold piebald stag, the mythical that we shot on Quattro before the grind, and then the 236 pie, and then the recent gold piebald. All those will probably go into the main lodge on the wall somewhere. I don't even know if I want a super rare, I, I don't know what I would do with it. Did we get the great one yet? Unfortunately not. If you kill three animals in a need zone with two species, will it delete itself? Uh, you'd have to shoot four, but that would that would make it delete. Do you think fish is going to be a good addition to this game? So, the only type of fishing that I think would make sense to maybe add to Call of the Wild would be bow fishing. That kind of stills within the spirit of the game and all that. I think... If they wanted to do, you know, normal bait and tackle fishing, they should probably do a separate game. Quattro Kalinas is the map. Gonna kill 12 great ones today? Holy. Is this not, like, the coolest rack in the game? It makes me sad that it's only a gold. Okay. Uh, jeez. 952. Let's go here, and then we'll probably reset the time. It is called the Hunter Call the Wild indeed, Ben. It's not the Outdoorsman, not the Fisher. I think it's just best to not make the game something that it isn't. Can you do more Mississippi? I do need to get back there. After the whole Gator fiasco, that one YouTube stream, I've really been... Call it, um... Dreading going back there. Ooh, was that a long shot? We had to squeeze that past that hide. It wasn't a long shot, though. Well, he'll die. Might take him 12 years, but he will die. Not even dropping yet, though. Maybe he'll die faster now. 
Rush of the Stream. It's actually a pretty pretty good name. I haven't seen that one. 200 diamonds with no great one. I don't know how far I could go before I just accept it and it ain't happening. Because I know that's over 100 has been a thing for some people with no great one. There was a time when, after I shot my Great One Whitetail, stuff kind of seemingly got more and more broken with Great Ones. Like, you'd see all those level 4 and level 5 Whitetail that were just making diamond. Uh, you'd see the overweight level 3s, you'd see underweight level 3s, like all kinds of stuff. It was all backwards. And, you know, people would go hundreds of diamonds without a Great One, and I just thought... They're sort of broken right now, I guess that can happen, but the Great Ones are in no way broken as far as I'm aware, currently. And you do get people with just... I guess it would be considered terrible luck. Can you go spend 100,000 on 308 bullets? Uh, that would require such an intense amount of spam, I don't think anybody would want it. That leads me to another thing that I continue to ask for Call of the Wild. Please allow us to purchase ammo in bulk. Nice MC fishing. The massive clicking. What about a massive male? Yesterday I got a silver 12 point blacktail? 12 point. Did they get more than 10 ever? Good job, Panda. <laughs> What's going on? The massive male doesn't like you? That What, that being the great one? He sure doesn't. Uh, do you think a map will happen in Norway? I think... So, Hemeldahl in the Hunter Classic, I think, is based in Norway, Sweden, somewhere like that. So maybe they do something similar in Call of the Wild? Dealing with a bad headache? Is her name Shadow? <laughs> Or is this name Flinter for that matter? They need to add pandas. Are pandas hunted anywhere ever? It's because you're not on Tay. It, it, I wouldn't have any mill to six tags if I was on Tay, nerd. Get smoked. <laughs> Found an albino red fox? I've never had one of those. I've had multiple piebalds, I've had multiple mellas. Never shot an albino. Wait. What about living in Denmark, King? Is that the Hamadol reference I made? How we doing? We're doing all right. We're we're uh, mowing down the red deer at the moment. Thought we shot three over in here. I think two of them were good shots. Oh, I'm just blind. Great one, Red Deer List, no 200, have a nerd. I was wondering, I forget, oh, because that one person thought you were me or whatever in the comments when I said the real question is who actually is the best, I was sure you're gonna pull out the, you don't have a 200, smokage. The wet pack needs the punt gun. <laughs> the wet pack. Since you're being mean, I triple dog dare you to challenge Conor McGregor to an MMA fight. I don't fight leprechauns. Where do you hunt in real life? West Central PA. Um, I've primarily only hunted here. I went to West Virginia and hunted with Bottom Boy a little bit last year. Uh, as far as whitetail hunting goes, that's about it. Blows my mind that people confuse us. I don't know. I don't know. I do get called Fooster from time to time, but I assume that's more of a name similarity thing than, every than everything. Than anything. Our names aren't similar enough to for that to make sense. I should have seen Acid on Mrs. Mistress the Stream. I was recording at the time, but Kyla told me. How many red deer drink stones do you have? I have no idea. I don't, uh, I don't use the count. Mistress has a YouTube? She does. 
I'm Irish and offended? I just met one particular guy. I didn't think Irish people got offended. I thought they just hurled potatoes at you. I would love mouse and keyboard support on Xbox. I can't believe they haven't done that. Especially given, well for one, the fact that the game's on PC, so surely they can find a way to make that happen. But also, it's a game that's in a lot of ways about precise aim. And it's hard to argue that you can't aim as precisely on controller as you can on mouse and keyboard. Australian people don't seem to get offended. I think that also applies. Got anything yet? Nothing really special to speak of. We are about to start our second run though. You are not offended. You officially count as that 51% puts you over the mark. Fleeter, thank you for the super chat by the way. Next run will be the great one. I'm from New Zealand, I would know. Is that because you're in the future? Well, I must trust you. Oh, oh bearer of good news. <laughs> How's little baby doggo? Uh, I can hear Kyla talking, so either she was yelling at her or she's being good. One of the two. Does Kyla have a YouTube? In the sense of making YouTube content, Currently, no. Hopefully, in the future, yes. Is there a diamond you don't have? Um, no. At the moment, with everything that's in the game, we have at least one diamond of them. Uh, I don't have a great one, if that, or a great one, Red Deer, if that counts. Telling her to jump on the bed. She's probably like, I'm too tired to jump. I just ate this whole thing. Lift me. Do you play any Ultimate Team on Madden? Uh, I'm not a big fan of Ultima Team. I used, from like 2012 to 2016, I used to really like it. They changed a lot of things about it, and I'm just not really as interested in it anymore. They're, I don't know. It could also be the amount of time that I'm able to put in. Like, I guess the thing that's frustrating is, oftentimes, because I'm mostly interested in like the competitive aspect of Madden, so, you know, literally it was like the day, oh god, Madden 19 maybe, it was a while ago, but it was the day the game came out, and this one guy, he obviously had just spent a bunch of money, which, you know, no, nothing against that, but his entire team is like 85 plus overall guys, and I've got all these 60s, well of course I'm going to lose, everybody's faster than my guys, That's I guess that's what annoys me. If I had the time to put in to grind for that stuff, maybe I wouldn't be as annoyed with it. Adult beverages. Um, coffee. That's my adult beverage now. Almost exclusively. Usually any alcohol I buy is at Sheets and I'm afraid to go there because I'm going to have to spend $500 on gas just for stopping in. I'm not sure the local Sheets actually has any gas because they don't have any numbers up for the price. Hey, Mel. Hey, look a thing. Thank you for the eight months. Welcome back. I trusted you. Oh, for being late. I was wondering. I didn't see that thing at first. What did you have for breakfast? I had a gluten-free breakfast sandwich, which, um, they're not great, but they're good for a day when I'm somewhat busy. Yeah? Was that you saying, never fear, I'm here? Hey, dear Slayer, thanks for the super chat. And Ben, thank you for the three months. Check out this big male profile picture. Oh god, it's a little small. Not this, I mean the profile picture. <laughs> uh, I can kind of see a little bit of it, sort of. Do you play Farming Sim 22? I wish that I did. Probably sometime around summer I'll be able to play it some. Then again, maybe I'll be outside all the time. Basically, I bought the game. I bought like the more expensive, expensive? That's a word, right? Expensive version of the game, which I don't know. I don't even know what it comes with. The extra equipment or something. 
and I played it literally for like four days. I don't even think I have 10 hours in it. And then we got a dog. How on earth did I hit that other stag? That doesn't even physics. I don't understand what just happened. Anyway, yeah, I haven't touched it in a while. I'm thinking though, potentially when summer rolls around and I've got all the editing done for Meat Hunters, maybe that could be a thing that I do just for fun in the mornings or whatever. Who needs to wake up and actually go work on a farm early when you can wake up and sit at your computer and play on a farm? Migraines make me the big dumb. I don't need a migraine to be the big dumb. They should add red, gray, and fox squirrels. I think squirrels could be neat. Um, they could potentially provide a little break from... Did that red just die? <laughs> That was interesting. Um, but yeah, like, if, let's say... Actually, it could be really good for certain maps. Layton might be a good example. If you're running through the forest from one lake to the next, oftentimes you're not going to see a whole lot. But if there's some squirrels to maybe encounter in the trees, it could kind of make things better. I was born big dumb. Same, though. Not tall enough. Migraines make Kylo rude. I'm two foot four. Should I do a Red Deer Great One grind on Quattro? Do it. I will say, despite the fact that I don't have a Red Deer Great One, from my experience with the White Tail Great One, there's probably nothing more rewarding in the game. As much as, you know, super rares and, and diamonds and stuff can be incredibly rewarding when you finally get that one specific thing that you know is so rare to show up it's a it's a different type of feeling than anything else there is in the game oh god using the smiley face i know what that means do you have big brain plays um what is this brain that you speak of i'm unfamiliar with the term Speaking of being unfamiliar, where the heck are all the red deer? That's only mildly alarming. This spot always has them. Maybe I'll move away a little bit. Nah, they should be. We're plenty far enough away. Okay, we'll come back to there. I assume they're just going to be late. I hope they're going to be late. Will you please show face cam? No. It is in my real life videos, by the way. I got like 20 plus real life hunting videos. One foot two that does that does give the 12. I'm a noob. Can I have some tips? Um, probably the best thing I can offer as far as advice outside of maybe watch my beginner series because that's a thing that I've been working on recently. If you want to check that out, um, mostly would be to hunt around lakes. You're gonna find all kinds of animals near water. All the time. What country would you like to hunt in real life? So I'm going to have to pick one that I'm not in, surely. There's not a whole lot of hunting opportunities that are outside the U.S. that I'm extremely interested in. Um, kind of happen to live in the best place to hunt big game that there is. Probably New Zealand. Just because of the options there and the fact that everything there is kind of like if I'm not mistaken you can hunt stuff whenever there I don't think they have seasons is that correct? for a lot of stuff they don't anyway I know that um, and for that reason it could be the type of thing where it could be a hunt I could do that's not during the deer season here because I never want to miss that There's some games where, or, or s some genres of streams, let's say, where like a face cam makes more sense. I think especially in a hunting game or a simulator type game, it doesn't make as much sense to have a face cam because like, to some degree, you're simulating the view that I would have. I don't know. That's the way I look at it. 
It's only duck season. How about an IRL hunt in Africa? You know, there's some species that do interest me as far as African game goes, but there's not a lot of stuff in Africa that I'd... Actually, I'm not sure if there's anything in Africa that I'm just like, I have to hunt that at some point in my life. Like caribou, elk, um, maybe moose. Those are things that I look at and I'm like, before I get too old to be able to, you know, traverse the mountains or whatever to do it, I have to go and, and hunt those at some point. I don't know that there is anything in Africa that I feel that way about. Now, a hunt in Africa could be amazing, don't get me wrong. I'm just not sure if there's anything in particular that I'm really set on, like, trying to, to hunt one day. I heard a woe from the other room from Kyla. I don't know if that was the dog. I hope it was the dog. Hunting hippos would be... How do you hunt a hippo? You kind of, like, wait by water, I guess. And hope they don't eat you. What is your favorite animal in real life? It's whitetail. Um, hunting them for 15 years, you just get so much respect for how tough they are and how incredibly smart they are. I mean, you just see crazy things. It'll be in the, um, the videos this year. Kyla and I saw a buck on the first day of rifle season, which had its back foot was like twisted so that its toes were facing the sky and this deer was not only was this deer getting along and moving through the snow I actually I was like hey that's a legal buck maybe we need to consider shooting this and before we could even get any get a decision made he was like sparring with another buck I was like well, I mean I guess he's good he wouldn't be doing that if he was hurting real bad if my toes were facing the sky I'd just let me die. Chuck me in the ditch. Is Rancho better for Whitetail than Leighton? Generally speaking, yes. We need to have great ones to be as common as level 5 Black Bear. In some ways, sometimes they feel like they are. You hear the pheasant? I like our resident pheasant. I still want to shoot it, but it's pretty cool to hear. Where I grew up and where I lived for 23 years, I, I don't think I ever saw a pheasant. I saw like a dead one or two on the side of the road. A couple grouse here and there, but no pheasants. I think we have a couple here too, Robert. There was, um, there was one that Kyle and I saw way too much detail in the story, but I, I left my bow hanger in the tree that I took the tree stands down out of from last fall. So the other day we took the aluminum ladder back, went and got it, we were carrying it back and I saw the pheasant come flying down the power line. And ever since then it's been sitting down there crowing, I think is what it's called. Um, God, every 20 minutes for like a week. Uh, but then two or three days ago, we were out on the porch eating lunch and another one flew over the house and it looked way bigger. So I think there's a couple. Do you hate Irish people? No. I'm like 50% Irish. Love as nothing. Do you live near Bloomsburg, PA? Not real close. Um, I've never hunted them either. I know Psycho Beagle. Some of you guys may know him. Uh, he's, he's more or less my neighbor now since we both moved. Um, not super close, but relevant information being that he hunts them and he invited me on a pheasant hunt last year and I was hunting so I ended up not going. I was deer hunting that is. But maybe that'll be something we get to do. Joshua, thank you for the super chat by the way. I appreciate the support. And no Kyle, I did not kill the coyote. I never did actually see it while hunting. Uh, my guess is that as the snow melted and as potential food became more available he stopped getting so close to the house. Maybe this winter. What's up, Axe Dragon? A nice scarecrow. Uh, do you know if it affects the spawn if you don't harvest up the animals? 
As far as I'm aware, it doesn't affect anything. It's whether you harvest them or not doesn't change a thing. There's two reasons that I do, that I do harvest them. Number one is that I think it's not in the spirit of the game to just leave everything laying. Uh, I, it's a lose-lose situation for the devs because if they make it so that you have to claim them to get the respawn, then there's the exploit that people do for if they mess up a shot. If they make it so that the animals do respawn if you don't claim them, I'm trying to make sure I get that right, then, you know, grounding becomes easier. I still think, though, when it comes to making content, I assume you guys want to see more than me just like running around shooting things for hours. You probably want to see what the animals score, like where the shots hit and all that, so kind of comes down to that too. It's a super rare, just as rare as a great one. I think the general consensus is that a great one is actually more common than a super rare. I thought if you don't claim them, they respawn as the same level. I don't think that's the case. This is a relaxing way to fall asleep with your with hunting and your voice. I'm from Belgium, so it's 10 p.m. at the moment. Oh, nice. Perfect bedtime stream. Okay. Decent seven. I like that rack. It's a little more spacey, if that makes sense. More space between the tides, I think, than the normal seven rack. If you don't pick up the animals, it'll respawn to something different. As far as I'm aware, I picked stuff up. I'm just going off of what I've been told. Shoes the big males, I am trying. I don't know where those level nines and rares are at. Hopefully they're somewhere. If you don't claim the deer you killed, it'll respawn back as the same thing. That's not what I've heard. It could be the case because, like, I'm sure there's some stuff that I forget to claim, and I guess I wouldn't notice, but I don't think that's how it is. I bet it makes it, Brennan. What map would you want to see next? I think we're due for another map base in Africa. I think it's time. I've been saying that for a while, but I still think it's time. Anything good yet? A bunch of mythicals. Uh, that's kind of it about it. Nothing huge just yet. I guess we're kind of back to square one. We'll save Kalina Rota for later because we don't need to make that long run right now. This is the lake where we just had the two um, mythicals at the beginning. If you don't claim it, it respawns as a new animal. I assume that's confirmed information then. If you don't claim the respawn, because I don't claim my red deer and have loads of diamonds, there you go. A testimony. Do you dove hunt? I did a fair amount of dove hunting when I was younger. I haven't even attempted it in 10 years, probably. It's been a while. My friend and I used to have a competition in which we'd bet precisely one dollar to, uh, you know, I would bet one dollar that I could kill more doves than he could. I don't recall ever actually either one of us paying up. We would just, you know, bet a dollar and then go hunt doves, but it's been some time. Indiana has the best whitetail bucks? Well, hard to argue with that. The second biggest one ever came out of Indiana. Where was the, where was the Milo Hansen buckshot? Milo, Hansen, Nilo, whatever. Location. Uh, da, 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 da. Saskatchewan, is that right? Wait. Okay. I think it's Saskatchewan then. Either way, that was a long time ago. The biggest one in quite some time has been Indiana. Just shot a troll male Gimsbuck. They unfortunately troll often. Doing great. I was confused because it said that it had measured 213 and I know the record's 211 something. But it was 213 in the morning he shot it. 
Are you doing a lodge tour anytime soon? I probably won't do a call the wild lodge tour until sometime around summer. I like to do one like once every six months. I do need to do a classic lodge tour. Um, that'll be a much briefer video though. Hello. Don't even see the hind the cult. You type faster than Lightning McQueen. The sad thing is I don't type correctly. I never learn. So I'm just like pointer finger typing like a 12. Gonna go eat lunch? Sounds good, man. Favorite map, still Leighton Lakes. Uh, we just went there actually on Friday's live stream for a bit. And we got ourselves a nice little diamond bunny. Eh, none of these guys are really facing the right way. We'll see if we can turn them around. I uh, found an 8 mythical. What would that be? As in diamond or gold? It'll be a gold. Uh, we did Kylo, but it wasn't exactly call it enforced to type correctly. So I just don't I couldn't do it, I guess. I don't know why I never learned, but like I guess I struggled to do it and therefore never really did. I told you I'm a 12. It's fine, I still type like 100 words a minute the way that I do. Code a 6, six to 14 estimate mountain goat? I didn't know they got that small. Small male. What diamond females can you get? Uh, scrub hair, European hair. Let's think. Gemsbuck, chamois. You used to be able to get diamond female ibex. That's not a thing anymore. I feel like those are rabbits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, Mississippi rabbits, Eastern Cottontails. How did you meet Kyla from doing YouTube streams, actually? In, uh, well, I guess about three years ago now. She was in the chat trying to help out without being a mod. Um, you know, just generally trying to be helpful to the people in chat. And I was like, hey, you should have mods so you can do things. And... Honestly, not a whole lot happened after that for a while, and then we were talking about, like, potentially doing merch because her mom does, like, stuff like that with, um, I guess making t-shirts would be the best way to sort of describe it, and yeah, just kind of kept on talking from there. Holy. Holy. Welcome back. How was bed? What's that? A spoonful full of peanut butter helps the medicine go down. What's the actual thing? A spoonful of sugar, I think. How many years have you played the hunter? I've played classic for um, it'll be twelve years this October, actually. Uh, Call of the Wild, a little over five years now. Basically, half my life I've been playing hunting games. Well, I actually have been playing EW hunting games. I've been playing hunting games of some kind since I was three or four years old. I remember playing Big Game Hunter 2004. I would have been, that came out in 03. So I would have been like six then. But if I remember correctly, I had played some of those Atari hunting games, like the Deer Hunter 3 or 4, even earlier than that. Yeah, Ben, that story's gonna be interesting one day. <laughs> I don't know yet. True. What was the first animal you shot on Call of the Wild? Well, I guess back when I was doing the sort of beta test thing, whatever you call that, it was a roe deer as the tutorial animal, I do suppose. 
a future great one you want to see? I think Mjolnir has potential to be the best great one in the game. If they if they can make the antlers good enough. You look up, you know, record non-typical Mjolnir. They have no necessity to exaggerate a great one Mjolnir. That literally they could just copy that and be like, yep, this is your great one. And they'll look incredible. So, in my opinion, that's what they ought to do. Thirsty pup. Moose? Yeah, moose have been voted for like every poll they do. I expect to see that happen down the road. I don't know exactly, you know, when that may happen or if it'll happen, but I do think that it will. Did we get a lung on that? We did. So we have two shots to... Oh boy, that wasn't a good one. Luckily he got stuck, but... Was it too low? No, it's lungs. Okay. And we have... Nobody over on that side. That'll just save us some time. Musty or great one? Every time that, like, uh, any major debate about the next great one starts to go down in discords, I just say musty or great one and then post a gif of Sid from Ice Age with the uh, sticks in his mouth. Rabbit great one. There you go. Thank you, Carl. Just saying, this profile picture is pretty great. I can't tell what it is. I'm blind out here. I can't believe she's still chewing on that. Never takes her that long. Maybe. Jacktail, great one? Yes. Whatever a jacktail is. I think Red Deer is an awesome great one, but I'd love to see some type of elk. Yeah, non-typical elk are pretty cool. PA's actually got some of the, the biggest elk because the winters aren't as rough, the predators aren't as, I guess, plentiful, if if there's any elk predators in PA. They get some pretty huge elk, and some of them being non-typical, I can imagine that kind of translating into a great one. I'd like that. Fig boot. Yes. What's that flip set? What is your favorite sports team? Really the only sport that I follow in any real capacity is the NFL. And my favorite team is the Steelers, which I'm hopeful, I guess, for this season, but the entire AFC is so stacked that they could probably have a 10-7 and record and miss the playoffs pretty easily. So it's going to be an interesting season, that's for sure. NFL isn't a sport. Did I say it like that? I probably did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you're right. Okay, the only league I follow is the NFL. My apologies. Would you like to see all animals max out at level 9? No, I think the way they've done it is probably... Probably for the best. What if they did, because this could work, I think. What if the level when you spot the animal was like color coded. All right, so you spot a level one whitetail, the the color of the number one in that will be like white, all right? And then that's gonna be the case for level one and two moose and for level one, two, and three red deer. Level two whitetail are like a, I don't know, a blue color. And then that'll be your level three and four moose your level four, five, and six red deer, and then level three white tail could be red. Uh, seven, eight, nine red deer. Oh wait, yeah, I think I got that right. To some, basically, what I'm trying to say is make it more clear. Maybe there's a better way for doing this than what I'm saying, but make it more clear that low level animals, low maxing animals, are actually good. When I was new to the game, I may have seen level 3 whitetail and thought, well, that's stupid. I just saw level 4 blacktail back there. This isn't anything and blasted it with the 338 for all I know. Brown's better than Steelers? Ah, eh, maybe. Who knows? There's a chance that Jacoby Brissett's going to be the week one starter if Deshaun gets suspended. Last time he played the Steelers, Cam Hayward chucked uh, 
Quentin Nelson back into him and injured his knee. And I literally mean chucked. I shot a red deer in Denmark, but they're not that big. Yeah, it depends on the part of the world. Um, but even the diamond red deer, I feel like, in Call of the Wild, are, they're closer to the farmed red deer side than wild. I think there are some areas where they might get that big. Huh? What was that? Is it with the 243? No. Oh. What is your CPU temperature? I have no idea. I used to have a software that would monitor that. Um, I don't believe I have that software anymore. Oh, look. I had deer over on this side. I was getting ready to fast travel. They're everywhere. This is going to be fun to go and try to claim stuff. Any red deer over level 7 is probably a world-class red deer in real life. Yeah, I generally would agree with that. How many great ones do I have? At the moment, only the one. It would be nice if by the time we're done with this stream, we'll be at two, but uh, with 30 minutes remaining, we shall see. Please add the CPU temperature command. I'm going to put it at 12 degrees, though. small I'd like to see all predators max out level 9 all prey max out at 5 and class 1 max at 3 I think that would make things simpler for new players now difficulty of the animal actually does impact how easy they are to spook so having you know your level 3 or max level 3 roe deer and whitetail and stuff they are a good beginner species if that makes sense but at the same time I, I think it causes more confusion than benefit I hate to disappoint you Billy but I haven't even gotten one red deer great one what's up Clay Drew I think they should go by age instead of levels I, I'm glad that you say that I, uh, I like to talk about this. this is one of my favorite things I have been on this for a while. I made like a... Honestly, I didn't even have time to be working on it, but I made a, um, a little edit to kind of show like what age could look like in the spotting box and stuff. I think it could be pretty neat. If instead of seeing, you know, three very easy on a whitetail, you saw age like four to six, I guess that's as arbitrary as a level to somebody that doesn't understand hunting in any way, but to someone that does understand hunting, like, oh, that's a four to six year old whitetail, that must be a pretty big one. I don't see that very easy helps anybody, hunter or non hunter, to know what it is. Unsubbing? Are you are you still gonna come and help with commands? I do indeed use a 7 mm Mod 8 in real life, by the way. I don't know if you asked that. I missed that question. I think you should be able to toggle between age and levels. Hey, I mean, I've also said this. They can implement levels incredibly easily. All you do is you look up the maximum age in the wild for whatever species. So, I'm familiar with whitetail. Let's go with whitetail. You could argue that 6 is actually too young. Um, but it's easy with the math, so let's just pretend it's 6 for now. And what you do is you just divide that by the number, or divide it by the max level. Whitetail max at 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So you have age 0 to 2, age 2 to 4, and age 4 to 6. You just multiply with your, um, I guess the, multiply by the level that it would be if they just used the old system. They could continue using the system that exists but just display something differently. I think it would work. Hopeful anyway. Wrench boys. For the first time yesterday, I got an eight point red deer, nice. What kind of computer do you have? It's in the description. 
Ugh, I'm getting run over. Do you want to see the great one that I messed up? Uh, I mean, if you want to post it in Discord, I can check it out. They should make it to where you can score animals? What you mean? Yeah, Kyla retired. She's sitting out on the balcony, drinking a... a yeah, I was going to say some kind of like retirement drink, but Coke Zero is more appropriate. What is a retirement drink? What's what's the first drink you have when you're retired? That's lame. You gotta come up with something a little fancier. I'm just... You're retired, dude. You got all the time in the world. Okay. Logan, thanks for the super chat, man. Check the northwest with the Ibex Lake for Red Deer. I had a few there. North West. This one? This one? Or this one? I'm not sure which of those you mean, but I have checked all three. I was going to say a margarita, Billy, but then I thought, maybe it's not a beach, it's just a balcony by a creek. <laughs> maybe that's not quite it. You know, it could work. There's some sand out there. Oh, God. Across oh, the creek. <laughs> yeah, if you're not careful, Shadow will chuck it upon you as she's digging. What's your favorite college football team? Uh, is Georgia purely because I don't really follow college football and Kyle is a Georgia fan, so. Yeah, yeah. I got to enjoy a team that I was rooting for actually winning something for the first time in like uh, 15 years nearly. 2009 was the last time. Sweet tea. Good old retirement sweet tea. Is the bloodhound worth it to buy? There are scenarios where it's very helpful. Generally speaking, like, tracking in Call of the Wild is pretty easy, so you don't often need the assistance, but at times, whether the tracks are lost among a bunch of other tracks, you know, red deer can travel in herds of 30, 30 deer, so it can be nice to have the dog to kind of pick through those tracks. And also you can have the exact same kind of assistance when tracks just are simply not visible. Sometimes they can help you find those tracks. Even though the track's invisible, the dog can still see it. Bandwagon. I mean, I didn't root for anybody in any state anywhere. It's just kind of because Kyla roots for him. We were in the stand the one day. I was watching the Georgia-Alabama game. They lost that one, if I'm not mistaken. They won the important one, though. Boy, that was a majestic way to fall. Uh, another one. And I think that's it. Do the dogs retrieve small game? They do not. There are retrievers in Classic that retrieve small game, though. How rare is the moose spawn on Te Awaroa? Yeah, apparently it can happen in multiplayer or something. I don't know how rare that is. It's a weird thing. Rolled Tide? They sure did roll them. It wasn't close. It was close, but the score made it look not close. What's that? Yes. They did. Do you like the shed hunt in real life? One of my favorite activities. I've been doing it more or less every day recently, but the ticks have been so bad that uh, I haven't gone to the area that I think is best, even though I've been through there too and I didn't find any sheds. I'm probably going to bite the bullet um, and buy, what's the name of that spray? It's in like a yellow bottle. It's good for ticks. Spray myself. I might even get shadow like a little jacket thing and spray that. I don't know if that's good for dogs. So I'll have to look into it and just go in there once and really look. I'd love to find just one shed here. It's all I want. One shed on this property. Off? No, it's um... P 
permit I can't think of it. Yes. Whatever the word that Papa Johnsy said. Permethrin or something. That one. Did you shoot a piebald coyote at 300 meters with the air gun? Are you saying you did that or are you telling, that, telling me that I should do that? I am far too small of a male to do that. Never found a shed. I live in Washington, but I look. It's weird. There was one year when I was younger where I found three in the same year. Those remain the only three sheds that I have ever found. God, that must have been ten years ago or so. Never found one again. My dad found two this year on the farm. One actually in the location where I found my first shed. I forget where he said the other one was. I don't know. Having a good week. I don't know, I just pulled my binoculars up. I don't even know. A uh, good week on Quattro. Three diamond red and one mythical albino. Very nice. Matty Ice of the Colts. Yeah, um... I think that's a good move for them. I think he sort of fits the vibe they're going for. I saw on the Pat McAfee show they were kind of joking, kind of not saying Jim Hersey was probably just like, get me the exact opposite of Carson Wentz. No more left-handed interceptions, please. Where at, though, bottom boy? <laughs> Crazy dog. We have a buck that still has its horns. Dad said he just saw, I think it was a spike or a smaller one that still had antlers too. Mariota the Falcons, is that confirmed? I saw it was like supposed to happen. Huh? The super jet? Yeah. Yeah, I'm waiting for it to come up so it's on screen. Oh dear. There it is. Small peen, what's going on man? Thanks for the super chat. Sphincter, how you feeling about the geese being fixed? I think it's good for content and stuff. Honestly, I need to uh, do another hunt for them myself. Try to find... I want to be in the, the, the cool club of a brown hybrid diamond. Everybody and their mother has one except me. Um, yeah, Ky Kyla kills one every 15 minutes. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, the I think it's good for beginners. I'm going to make a beginner goose guide this week. Do your deal unless he backs out of tapping him? Honestly, good for Atlantic. I still don't know who the heck they're going to have Mario to throw to other than Kyle Pitts. Who's their running back? Is the guy from Carolina, Mike Davis, is he still their starter? They had Gurley, too, for a while. I don't even know if that was last year. I don't know much about that team. I just... Everybody that I knew was there is suspended or traded. Have you killed an albino geese? Albino geese. An albino goose? Albino geese do not exist. I was getting ahead of myself. Sandbar hunting, that'd be neat. Come on, Sir 12. Oh, wait, I see exactly what's happened here. Yeah. That's why the dog's useful sometimes. ESPN is calling the Mariota to Atlanta deal done. Honestly, good for him. I don't know that he ever had a lot of chance in, um... Goodness, wasn't working. In Tennessee. Maybe he did, and I just misunderstood the situation, but... It seemed like... He just kind of got booted out of there pretty quick. Oh, Patterson, that's right. Yeah, Patterson's going to go number one in fantasy because there's no one else there. I forgot about him. Have you killed an albino gold red deer? I have not. I don't think ever. Oh, dear. Not again. Got to go all the way down there and claim that. Take me outside. I'm tired of this indoors life. Kirk Cousins going to be MVP? I think he probably will do better with O'Connell in there, but... 
Is Kirk Cousins really ever MVP talent? He's close, I guess. Julio Jones is signing with the Steelers. Just so you know, that wouldn't be something I'd be excited about. He's unfortunately a little broken down and probably too high of a price tag. If the Packers choke again in the playoffs, I'm going to die. Much like the Falcons, who the heck is Rodgers going to throw to? I know Lazard's kind of good. St. Brown's kind of good. Neither of those guys are number one receiver guys. Mercedes Lewis is 90 years old. Don't know what they're going to do. How long does it take to find all your zones for Red Deer on Quattro? Um, it takes a while. There's a lot of lakes and stuff. Antonio Brown's coming back to Pittsburgh. Well, you know, apparently his argument to begin with was with Big Ben, so maybe he's out of there. Big, big, uh, Mr. Trubisky's in there now. He'll revive his career. Thoughts on the Browns getting the Sean Watson? Um, I don't think Baker was ever the answer there anyway, so probably a good move. Contract's a little bit stupid. They could have... They Probably gone a little lower, but as far as I understand it, them attempting to kind of do their due diligence on Watson really upset Baker, and they kind of had to overpay to make sure they got somebody. Road deer starting to grow antlers in Norway? Nice. Which team do I like? I'm a Steeler fan. A sad... Sad little bike wreck of a Steeler fan. Deshaun Watson is the most money guaranteed in NFL history. Yeah, the concern is, like, there could be a significant amount of time that he misses yet. I'm guessing that's not going to happen, but he'll probably have a suspension at some point, even if it's brief. He also hasn't played football in a year and a half. Nice, Gavin. My lord, how poorly did I shoot this red deer? Yikes. There he is. I don't have eye backs on this lake. They changed their drink time to something entirely different. I don't even know what it is. I kind of forget where we've been and where we haven't been. I know we haven't been here on this run. Football talk. Shadow voices her opinion on that. She says, enough of that. <laughs> She's making... Maybe not. Maybe that's why she was whining. What's that? Poisoning her. No way. Tom Brady is not gone, by the way, Billy. He unretired. 40 days. And he said, nah. Coming back. Whoop, that didn't work. Coming back with the Bucks, by the way, which I don't think a lot of people saw coming. Do you like Patrick Mahomes? Yeah, I think he's fun to watch. But reserve Quadro Kalinas. So so I'm gonna have to take a page out of Lag's book and start putting the map on screen. I still think it's gonna be asked though. What? I don't know what I hit. Not what I wanted to hit. That'll do. Licking her toes. Where do you think Baker will end up? Who's left that needs a quarterback? Atlanta has Mariota. Colts have... What's his name? Ryan. The Saints re-signed Winston. I don't know who else is looking for a quarterback. 
I don't know who's willing to give up much of anything. I wouldn't be shocked if he's cut and signs on as a backup. And that ain't going to work good. I promise. Baker Mayfield is not the type of guy who's going to do well in a backup role. Dolphins sign Teddy. Teddy to a Tongavaloa Bridgewater. What do you think of Drew Brees retiring? That was a while ago. I think... Listen, I like Drew Brees, but I think he's better in his role as the quarterback than he is as broadcaster so far. Maybe that'll, you know, maybe that'll change, but um, not always the best of broadcasting times. Carolina had everyone to pick his pro day and Matt Rule was in his ear. I didn't think of Carolina that would be an option, but... I could see them trying to get... Mayfield, honestly. I also think Kenny Pickett would be a decent move. If the Panthers draft Pickett, there's still a lot of talk about the Steelers picking a quarterback in the first round. I'd love to see them get him. Uh, Willis is kind of decent. I don't know. I don't mind them trying to go with Trubisky. That was also a question that was just asked. Who do the Steelers have at QB now? Mitch Trubisky. Um... I don't think he's the long-term answer, but you never know. Guys have done that in the past where, you know, they didn't look great for the first couple years and then they start to get it together. Detroit for Baker? I have heard that as well. That would... Is he that big an upgrade over golf? Thoughts on Dan Marino retiring? Well, he should have played another year, or one last year, losing to the Jags 62 to 7 or whatever it was wasn't good. As his final appearance. There are no Melanistic Springbuck. Uh, those are black brown. Ever kill a fallow over 170? In classic, I have a 171. Thoughts on John Elway leaving? Um, he helicoptered. And that's all I know. Seattle needs a QB. Now, Baker actually kind of could fit that system. I don't know how much Pete Carroll wants to deal with Baker's tendencies as he is like 71 years old. But, you know, he had the Richard Shermans and the Brandon Browners of the world. He had... While Russell Wilson obviously was a better talent, they ran a similar offense like they did in Cleveland where there's a lot of running the ball, that might be the best fit as far as like scheme and stuff goes. Thoughts on Big Ben retiring? It was time. I don't think he was as bad or as much of a shell of himself as the media wanted to portray. Um, he just, like, there was no time. The offensive line was not good. But that said, the times where he could you know, where he, where he did have time in the pocket. His throws just didn't have the zip on him they used to. I don't know, Danny. I wasn't around. What's your opinion on the Von Miller trade? Uh, I, I don't know why they paid him that much. I don't know why they gave him that contract. I guess they're assuming he can be a, you know, full season starter. Because the Rams, the way that they did that, it was a move that intentionally was setting him up to mostly play during the playoffs. I don't think... I don't think that at 33 or whatever, he's really an every-down guy, which is fine. Um, he probably shouldn't be paid that much if he's not an every-down guy. I don't remember what James Harrison's salary was. He was like 39 with the Steelers. But he wasn't getting paid that much. And he also wasn't playing every down. But, man, that's a lot of money to sink into a guy that's that old. How many lakes are on Quattro? How many lakes do I have two plus tents on? Not very many. Here, here, here. And that's it. 
I hate Miller now because he's with the Bills. You have an interesting approach. Have you ever watched Formula One? Uh, no. I can't kill anything in Call of the Wild. Try hunting around water and, um, if you're using the 243, I'd be looking for deer species, so whitetail, blacktail, stuff like that. Hello down there. That's new. Not a fan of that necessarily. That's not a good place to have to go and get them, but we'll make do for now. Weirdly laggy at times today. What, cool cat? What would you think of a giant, typical great one whitetail like a humongous eight pointer? I think they should probably go with a few more points, but less than the diamonds have actually. I'm not a big fan of eight by eights. Maybe a 10 or 12 pointer though. I get that, Danny. I don't know. It's the league is just kind of different than it used to be. Um, you don't have a lot of star players sticking with one team their entire career. I don't think we're going to see much more of that outside of quarterbacks. I think, you know, like Mahomes got that 10 year deal. I mean, even Brady moved on eventually, but I think that's not going to be the norm with quarterbacks, but guys are going to want to get a ring. Ring chasing's more of a thing now than it's ever been. Do you watch March Madness? I really don't follow basketball um, of any kind, NBA or college. I play, That's probably the sport that I played most when I was a kid, as far as like school sports or whatever, but more fun to play than to watch, I guess. <laughs> I saw that. Uh, Miller, Thomas, and Manning was a killer combo. I wish Miller would go back to Denver. There were some rumors about that him wanting to reunite in Denver, but that was right after Russ got there, which um, tells you he was more interested in the rings than the fans, I guess. We get to run for 12 more years. Probably the rest of the stream is going to be running just to claim these last couple reds. Anything good? Nothing to speak of, unfortunately. Not a whole lot of anything going on. How many reds have you shot? Uh, it's about 5,300. It's a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. Kyla's ring better have a built-in buck grunt. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine? Like, walk into the stand like, Oh, there's a buck right in there. Get your ring. <laughs> Brrrr. No, too loud. Dial it down. How does Washington look? Um, they make me wince when I look at them. Uh -huh. I hate my life because I'm so obsessed with the Red Deer, and of course I live in the part of Denmark where they have to cross one bridge and be able to get over to where I live. We're talking about like real Red Deer, not a Great One Grind type of Red Deer. 14,000 Red Deer kills for me. That is unbelievable. You might have the record for the most without a Great One. LC was at 13. He did that in like, God, two weeks because he's insane, but still. Have you been to Utah? A couple of times. Do you think the Bengals are going to stay good? Probably. Um, Burrow, he had weapons to throw to, but he generally overcame a kind of subpar roster. Did you happen to see the Carson Wentz meme I posted? Ah, uh, jeez, I don't know. I've seen a bunch. Is multiplayer or story mode better to play now in 2022? I will say that multiplayer is unfortunately a little too frequently inhabited by people hacking or modding, but it also can be the source of a lot of fun, so it depends on depends on how you play, I guess. Been playing Madden and boy it makes me mad. Madden's one of those games, I I do enjoy playing it um, competitively, like, I think I'm a little bit different than the normal Madden player, because most guys, it gets to 3rd and 18, and they have some 
some play they run every single time. I just kind of do a bunch of different stuff. I try to actually understand what the defense, what defense they're calling and find ways to beat that. But um, what's tough about it is you can control one player on the team and the AI is, is controlling the other 10. And it can be in, incredibly frustrating when it's so obvious what a player should do, but they don't do that because the AI is doing it. You play the same way? I'm glad somebody does. I honestly, it drives me insane when somebody runs like, it's usually those deep crossing routes, just every play of the game, and then they run around in the backfield with Kyler Murray or whoever. Not that they usually win that way, but yeah, I don't know. This is supposed to be simulation football to some degree. Shot my first kite yesterday with my 6.5? Nice. You know you can walk over back there? Yeah, it probably doesn't make as much sense to run ar around this way because there's a crossing um, right in here. But the reason I run around is in case there's any more red deer drinking down this way. It does happen on occasion. 24 and feel like I'm 12. Except when I wake up, then I feel like I'm 90. Got joints cracking and sound like I'm eating Pop Rocks. Kyler Murray is the goat of Instagram post removals. What have I missed again? Uh, nothing really, unfortunately. Not a whole lot of anything. Everyone seems to have their move, but ain't that, it's some counter trap run play that always gets good blocking. Uh, I've never killed a diamond in level 30. I wouldn't say that's too abnormal. I think that I would actually say that's maybe normal. I have the soul and knees of a 90 year old. I don't know if it's because the ground's squishy here. Oh, uh, I, I wasn't going to. What were we? Oh, we were going to have a cookout the other day and the previous owner of the property was like in the lumber business, so most dead trees that were around are already cut into firewood and just stacked in different places. So I was like, let's just go get some of the wood that's out here. You know, we'll burn the stuff that's near the yard, because it, not that it's an eyesore, but it's, you know, whatever. You get my point. Uh, so I took the wheelbarrow over there. It's a very, very low area where water lays and that was a mess. I was sunk in. I couldn't get my shoe out of the ground. And then, yeah, the next, I think, was it that morning or evening? I was like, my knees are killing me. <laughs> it's probably because I was sunk into eight inches of mud. Oh, so funny. <laughs> How did Kyla and I meet? Um, I told this story once on stream today, so I'll give the short version. Um, she basically was tuning into YouTube streams. And through that and becoming a mod, we got to talking and met at an airport. And we'll be back in, what, 2019? It's over three years ago that that happened. Mm -hmm. I was only 12 back then. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> My first ever red deer spotting on a Quattro was a 9 that only went up to 238. That is not a good omen for that map. No fair. Christmas movie? A Hallmark movie? Twelve. So I hired Kyla. Yes. I hired Kyla to feed the people in the basement. What's the distance you can see animals in Call of the Wild? Uh, about 400 meters is a render. It won't let you join the Discord. If you're just clicking the link, try going to the Discord, um, clicking the join server button, and then pasting the link into there. Sometimes it works that way. Uh, not exactly the gaming tiger. I mean, we talked on the phone and, you know. Actually, my mom, I, I guess this will be a compliment to Kyla for being pretty. 
<laughs> but I showed my mom a picture of Kyla and she goes, are you sure you're not getting catfished? And I was like, thanks mom. Appreciate you trusting my judgment out here. Well, she's low standards of her ex, so what Well, I don't, yeah, you're right. But, um, I mean, I had gotten her a Steeler hat for Christmas and I got a picture of her wearing that, so that's probably evidence enough that I'm not being catfished. Did I get here just in time? Just in time to wrap up the stream, more or less? The chard board isn't good? The chard board? Uh, no, they're not that rare, Braden. All Slim Jim, bottom boy. <laughs> I'm getting you those for your birthday. <laughs> Box. <laughs> <laughs> I'm behind that do not consume. <laughs> oh dear. A 30 year old man who's really good at Photoshop. I mean, maybe. I mean, I was sitting in my truck at the airport. So if a 30 year old man came running out of the airport towards me, it wouldn't have been too difficult to avoid. <laughs> I waited until she stepped out of the airport, and then I went and got her. This is COVID time. You got to remember, I couldn't go in anyway. I could have infected a hundred people just by walking in. Wow. You think I'm irresponsible like that? Is a brown hybrid level three mallard a super rare? I mean, technically speaking, it is a rare diamond, but ducks of any kind generally aren't considered super rares because. The um, the diamond rates and also the rare rates are a lot higher than most species. Well, now we get to claim Reggie for five more minutes if you guys have any other questions. Fellow's gonna die by the Slim Jim. You live by the Slim Jim, you die by the Slim Jim. Oh, that's what Danny said. Be here all week. <laughs> Um, do you ever have any problems with people hunting in your hunting spots in real life? Yeah, both here and at my dad's property. At my dad's, it's been an ongoing thing, and... It's been less so in recent years. I think mostly because, like, the area that I hunt where I shot my 9-point in 2019, um, if you guys recall where I filmed that big 8-point in 2019, where I uh, filmed the Bladed 9 last year, all that's in the same area, and it's near the property line. Not close enough that if I shot a deer with a bow, it would die off the property. But, you know, I'm close enough to where they'd see me and be like, well, I guess I'm not going to trespass today. And then here, I really... I put something else together, by the way. I'll explain as I'm going along here. Um, there were two guys on the second day of rifle season that absolutely had intended to trespass, but then they saw us and kind of just walked the line. It was fairly clear. I don't think they were even on their land or whatever, but what I think happened is I, I believe they saw the buck that I shot from the road at some point and we're going in there after him, not knowing that we were going to be there hunting. There were two guys that we had on our trail cam like a week ago fishing on that creek and it, it didn't click in my head till like yesterday. I bet it was the same guys. They came from the same way. Yeah, all thickened up with those warm clothes. What's the rarest croc you have killed? A fur-lined camo croc. You check the top northeast, northeast, northeast lake. Uh, yes, I still get some up there, not as many. Cut around fifty lines and still no diamond. I just shot my first ever single player diamond lion like a couple of weeks ago and I probably killed many hundreds in single player. Weird how that works out. Is it even worth it to grind for Great One Whitetail if you want to get a Great One Whitetail it is? Alright. I think 
with this fine strapping level 4 lad, that is officially going to do it for the stream. No nines today. First run in a while with no nines. No diamonds, no rares, no nines, no nothing. We had a pretty good streak though for a few weeks there where basically every run was producing something. Maybe in our video this week, which is probably going to be Wednesday, we'll have uh, something from all these respawns. But yeah, that is pretty well going to do it. So as always, thank you guys for watching today. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Well, let's go trophy on in Hunter Classic. Bye!